Bro, my arms are already tired. So I'm gonna fast forward, you guys. <sighs> okay, Google Play Music on Spotify. Um, yeah, I take Sundays to get my life organized so that when my room is like this, I can, you know, like get it back to where it needs to be so my head feels good too, you know? So, anyways, thanks for watching. I will show you a next clip soon. I'll try this again. I'm sitting on my bed. I'm looking at my room. I just woke up from a nap. 6 p.m. on Sunday. And my room is still messy. Like, it was so messy that I didn't even want to sleep here when I was napping. So I slept beside my mom in her room. So first step I always do before laundry is organizing my laundry here because we live in a shared space and therefore I'm not trying to do any extra shit downstairs. I'm trying to do it upstairs before I go. So I have to pick up all of these clothes, all of that. I have to, there's clothes on my desk over there. For some reason my curtain hook, curtain rod fell off. So I'm gonna use my handy dandy step stool and put it back and like once I take the clothes off the ground and put the laundry in my room is already gonna look significantly lighter and cleaner I'm just gonna have to put everything away properly there's shit everywhere okay, I went to the grocery store I bought coffee that I forgot to buy I bought hair dye which I'm gonna try to do later I need to do my sheets um, I have coffee cups I have corona bottles like look at all those receipts because I haven't done my budget in a minute like bruh trip in Okay, anyways, I'm going to go clean it now. Okay, I sorted out uh, the clothes. This is like non-bleach. This is bleach or not. I don't know. I fucked it up. But regardless, I have two piles of clothes. And I got this from Costco for free when I bought it from Groupon. I got a bunch of coupons. And it basically paid for the cost of my membership. I think I got a free coupon for the Kirkland laundry detergent. Free coupon for the water bottles no sorry free coupon for the paper towel Kirkland brand and then a coupon for ten dollars off a meat item and then I also got a coupon for oh I also got a coupon for ten dollars off an item times two so twenty dollars off because I renewed my membership but I canceled it the second time I went in so now I'm back to just having my one-year membership but yeah that's what I'm doing I'm gonna go put this in and then this is like clothes that I can put away. Still have to deal with that. I put up the curtain rod again. This little step stool is from Canadian Tire. I literally just got it. So fucking clutch. So strong. So clutch. I would feel confident on it. Etc. So next up is deal with this laundry. Show you how my room looks like once I'm done that. Okay, bye. Okay, update. I think it's like 9.30. Okay, Google, what time is it? It's 9.59. Okay, it's 10 o'clock. <laughs> My timing is fucked, but I took a nap today, so I'm good. I'm wired. So, um, laundry is done. I have to put it away. I didn't put these things away yet because I'm like, when I put this away, I'm going to put this away. That makes sense. I also have my fitted sheet that I have to put on the uh, bed. I have my comforter in my mom's room that I have to do that. Um, I'm also going to dye my hair today. So... Um, I usually get it done at a store, at a salon, and, like, the roots are grown out. Okay, hold on, let's do it this way. So, if you look at my hair, if you look at my hair, like, if I do a middle part, you can kind of tell, but over here, I'm doing this in the worst way, but it's black, and then it gets dark. So, I'm basically trying to fix that, like, yeah, you can definitely tell. Okay, like close it, black over here, brown over here, like I'm trying to fix that. And I could go to a salon and get it done 100%, and I've been paying 140 to get it done, but my hair is long, it's thick, I'm doing one color. So as of late, I've been thinking, and I'm like, okay, Cynthia, like your expenses are gonna have to get a little tighter, and so I'm like, you really can't afford to get your hair, like, done like that not regularly so I'm like should you just fuck all of this brown color and go all black because then you can go to Sally's get black hair color and deal with it and the thing is though if I go back to black like that means all the work I've put in to get this color like this color at the bottom like it's gone like it's gone you know what I mean like once you go black like you're fucked and the thing is like I went through like color correcting when they finally did do the brown they didn't do bleach on it like, it's been the healthiest that my hair has been, and it's I love this color. Like, I love it, but 
high maintenance. So in my mind, I thought that there was only two options. I thought that I'm either going to have to dye it black or I'm going to have to go to this person and get it done professionally. But I'm like, okay, but if you can dye it black yourself, then couldn't you just dye it brown yourself? And so there's this girl that I watch. Her name is um, Bon Manzaid on Instagram, but like her actual name is Liba. And um, she basically dyes her own hair red. Like, I ain't even trying to do red. I'm gonna do dark brown. So I'm gonna do it. I follow the same instructions, follow the same brands that she followed. I'll show you what I used, but I'm gonna basically show you guys how I dye my hair and if I fucking fucked it all up. But personally, this is what it looks like. It's kind of black. Like, the roots are really, really dark right now, but the bottom is kind of brown. I don't know if you can tell, but either way, I'm trying to be like a brown gal, you know? I want to get confused to be Guyanese or Trini so people don't understand that I know when they're talking shit in Tamil. <laughs> so, we got pizza, two garlic dipping sauces, four cans of Coke. I did half vegetarian because my dad is vegetarian. Half barbecue chicken with chipotle chicken, jalapenos, and red onions. This side is red onions, mushrooms, and hot peppers. And then chicken wings, mild sauce on breaded wings. Oh my God, me and Vijay are gonna have a feast. And we're gonna live our best life. So, cheers, happy Thanksgiving. Still Sunday night, I'm eating ice cream. It's delicious. And, uh, Mm. I was thinking, right? My room isn't at all clean. We just had pizza, having dessert of ice cream. If I was an all-star, which that was the goal, I like to be over ambitious because even if I don't come through, at least like I still did more than the average person did. But over ambitious Cynthia was like, you can do your budget, you can do this. But no, I finished laundry, which is awesome. It's done. Still need to put it away. I can make my bed, but I'm probably not going to. I'll make it tomorrow. And I'm just gonna sleep with the comforter, which is on the floor over there. I'm a terrible person. I'm very well aware of that. I'm good. Um, I was gonna dye my hair today, but I'm gonna dye it tomorrow. I'm gonna go to the gym in the morning, then dye it, then Cindy's gonna come over, so. Anyways, that's all for today's episode of the vlog. Tomorrow I'm gonna vlog again. So I will see you guys tomorrow. See ya. Hi everyone, welcome to today's day in the life continued. I was gonna say welcome to the new video, but it's not, it's gonna be continuous if I just didn't fuck it up. But um, today I'm gonna basically show you guys how I dye my hair. I haven't done home dyeing in a very long time, but I just watched some videos, did my research, and now I'm executing. Um, basically, I've been going to the salon to get my hair dyed for a while now because I always have gray hair. You can kind of tell it's been like a fucking hot minute since I did it, but the roots are growing out like crazy. So um, I think I did take a clip that I'm gonna insert of how my hair looks, but anyways, I'm gonna dye my hair. And I basically went to Sally's. Um, most of the stuff I already had in terms of like this bowl or the brush, but I did get some developer and dyes and I'm getting the inspo from Liba or Bad Manzaid on YouTube slash Instagram and she basically uses the L'Oreal high color technique um, she's been dyeing her hair red from a black or like a dark brown for like eight years and she literally has four different videos up on her channel so I um, just watched all of them figured out what the common theme was and now I am going to do it so she uh, by the way I'm not a hairstylist hair colorist we're literally gonna experiment together see what happens Yes, it could potentially be terrible for me, but mm, I don't think it's that bad. So I'm starting off with two packs of this high color red, um, reds for dark hair only. And I'm going to use this on my roots. And it's basically the color H12, deep auburn red. And I got two of them. So this is what actually comes in it. This tube, which I need to combine with developer and this intensifying red little ting ting. But anyways, um... So I'm going to mix that, and according to the instructions, I mix that with 2.5 ounces of 30 volume developer. And since I'm going to use both of those, I'm going to do two 
uh, sorry, I'm gonna do five ounces of developer, which is why I have my scale here to figure it out and make it very easy. Um, I also have this bowl that I'm gonna use. I got this from Sally's like years ago. Uh, I don't, I think it was like less than five dollars. Also got this brush. Chose a wider brush because it's easier. It's pretty shitty quality though now. I could have probably got a new one, but I thought it was better than this. But oh well. Anyways, I did get this little whisk thing. It's like three dollars from Sally's as well, just to mix the dye. And I bought some from my mom as well. And if this method works, which I'm pretty sure it's going to, um, I'm gonna keep doing it like this instead of going to the salon and paying $150. Because like all of this stuff, the developer I'm not gonna need to buy again. But these were basically like ten dollars each. So $40 for four. I don't even think I'm going to need to use both boxes of this one, which is basically um, Ion Color Brilliance Semi-Permanent Hair Dye in the color Burgundy Brown. And I'm going to use this for the ends because the ends are already basically colored. You don't have to mix it with any developer. And it's basically like the toner, you could say. So I'm going to start off by doing my roots and then I'm going to do this next. Um, what else do I have? I have Vaseline because you put Vaseline around your face and the back of your neck, back of your ears, all that stuff um, because it will make sure that the dye doesn't stick to your face and it's way easier when you shower to take it all off. And I also have a brush because I'm going to comb out my hair. I have four clips because for the roots I'm going to section it off into four. So I'm going to go down the middle once and then I'm going to take these and section it twice and do the roots for every every single section and then I'll do the main parts for every single section and it's just going to help make it easier um, and I also have this little mirror so I could like see the back of my head I'm pretty uncoordinated though so I have to figure out how to do it but yeah so I'm gonna start there I'm gonna see if I can put you guys up somewhere and then you can just watch what I do if it works but uh yeah if not you'll see when I start okay it's still recording I finally cleaned my room most of the way and I'm so happy my soul feels good Basically, while the hair is in, uh, the dye is in my hair, I'm going to finish off cleaning my room, which I put away the laundry, I made my bed, um, I just have to clean my desk, I have to do some administrative work, like my budget, update that, reconcile my accounts. I try to do that as often as possible, but lately I've been in denial about my spending habits, and so I'm doing it only on a need-to basis, which is not good. It's not good at all, but I'm going to fix that <laughs> by looking at it head-on today, but... Yeah, so that way I can start tomorrow, like, fresh, good to go, back on track with my life, and yeah. So, anyways, I'm going to take my hair. I've combed it out now. I didn't, no, I don't think I said that I also have gloves that I'm using, um, just to make sure you don't get dye on your hands. So I'm going to go down the middle. I'm going to go face this way. Go down the middle. Use the end of this brush because it has, like, a little rat tooth. I don't know. It just makes it easier for your hair to um, part. So I parted it first down the middle once. And then from there, I'm just going to grab a piece of hair. Maybe up until like my ear. Start in my ear. Make it as even as possible. And that's one section. Probably be the first section I start off with. And I guess the whole point of sections is to make it easier for you to do your hair. Um, but, yeah. I'm probably going to time lapse, you guys. Same thing. I'm basically just going to my ear, taking the top half, making it into like space buns, clipping it with those black and pink clips out of the way. Fix a few of these, but okay. So my hair is clipped. I'm gonna do the whole Vaseline thing now. <clears throat> so yeah, the girl that I got the inspo from is Liba or Bad Manzid on YouTube, and she's been dyeing her hair from time time, and she goes from like dark hair to red. She literally has five different videos. I literally watched all of them, and more or less it's pretty fucking easy and so long as you don't do it so often and like make sure you're not using the wrong products like for me right i don't know why i'm putting it on my chin but knowing me i can get it everywhere um yeah the reason why 
I dye my hair is because I have gray hair and then I had a really shitty experience once three years ago Google actually reminded me because I took a picture of it oh my god I'll see if I can insert it but I went to my hairstylist who's really good at cutting hair for me in my opinion I just like a basic cut um, I went to him and I'm like okay he does haircuts really good he can probably dye my hair bad choice he to get my hair to be brown like the dark brown that I wanted he's like you have to bleach it first so he bleached it but then like it was bleached very patchily and then it was just fucked and then he put toner on and it just it wasn't a good look and so I had to pay to fix that so I basically was being cheap and frugal and going to him to get it like colored because I'm like oh it'll be fine and then I ended up going to like multiple different spots like multiple times to be able to fix that like it took me years which is why I'm like yo I can't Get let go of this color just yet only because of the fact that like yo I, I work so hard for it and i think i can figure out how to do it at home it's not that hard he's really like my person that i go to now it's at uh it's in brampton level two uh salon and studio or whatever like he's really good too don't get me wrong but it's expensive and i'm not maintaining it as much as i am and you know when you go to a hairstylist and they're like you haven't been in so long your hair is so dead like I don't need that kind of negativity in my life right now. No, I'm just joking. Um, so I'm basically taking, I'm gonna start with the developer because I know how much developer I need. So I'm gonna put five ounces of the Salon Care developer. Can you see that? Five ounces. 1.2. Just going trigger heavy now. So the reason I'm putting two, uh, five is because of the fact that I'm using two of the bottles. Oh fuck, I did 5.2. Oh well. Okay, so 5.2 ounces of that. I'm done with the scale. Put this away. I'm gonna add the color. And basically, the color, it's, at, it's closed. So you just use the back of the lid, which has a little pointy thing. And get it all out. Today's Thanksgiving. Sindhu's coming over. Sindhu's my cousin. Her name is like the brown version of my name. I'm Cynthia. She's Sindhu. Sinduja. Um, ooh. and we're gonna make food for Thanksgiving. Some mashed potatoes. We're gonna make um, ham. Oh. And I'm gonna see if I can record the ham. I mean, the mashed potatoes because yo, this is like a bomb ass mashed potato recipe, and it's so damn easy. People always think it's really, really hard. Damn it, the Vaseline is making my hands thing. Um, people think it's really, really hard to make like, oh fuck, oh fuck. I spilt it. Damn. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. There's nothing wrong. It's fine. Oh, I was supposed to put on the dye, the, the gloves. Whoops. Okay, let's try this again. I'll put the gloves on. Oh, I already have dye on my hands. Whoopsies. I done fucked up. Put on your gloves first, people. Don't be a bucket. That red little tube just got on the floor. It's fine. It's fine. We are fine. So I'm putting another one of these. Piercing it. Yo, why do they not make gloves for like small people's hands? I swear, like even the smalls in the store are like five sizes too big for me. I need like a baby, baby fingers. No, let me live. These are not <laughs> gonna fit me properly. I really like. Eek. Okay, you know, I just try try to get every last drop. Just make sure both of these. See, it just has a huge amount come out. I was gonna do in the washroom, but okay. Let's try this again and do it slowly. Just push out slowly. It's like food coloring. But I was like trigger heavy, just like. Ooh. 
Wear a shirt that you are okay with getting dirty. I probably should have. I was gonna put parchment paper down, but I didn't have my life together to that extent. So now I'm gonna just take my mixture. I don't know if you guys can see it. I don't wanna tip it over, but I'm basically gonna mix it slowly and safely. It's very thick, or it's very, some parts are thick, some parts are runny, but she was basically saying you should get it to like a, um, you should get it to uh, like a liquid icing kind of texture. And I can see why the whisk helps. Yo, this is a lot of dye. Well, I got it. I, I got like, it says red, but honestly, I don't imagine that it's going to um, catch with my like virgin dark hair so easily. So anyways, now I'm taking one piece at a time and I'm just gonna start. Maybe I should put something on the floor, but it's too late now. Okay, I'm done my hair, Let's zoom in. I got it all over. I ended up just using those high color from L'Oreal. Those two boxes was enough to cover my whole head. And I feel like it was probably even too much. But she's always used, um, catch for the back. She's always used two or more. It's showing up as red, but I personally think it's gonna come as like a dark brown. My mom is tripping. I also fucked up the floor heavy. <laughs> Whoopsies, but I'm pretty sure nail polish remover will take it off I'm gonna YouTube it in a second and find out how I can do that But I'm gonna leave this in for 20 minutes. So again, I didn't end up using those two ion color brilliance I just used two of the L'Oreal high color. I don't remember even what the color was called, but um, basically I ended up just using that it was more than enough um, and Yeah, that's it I have stuff all over, but I'm just going to do a little bit of stuff and then I'm going to go back to regularly scheduled programming. See what's good. That's my hair. Oh, I can see it in the mirror. All over. This will tell me too if I dyed it well. It has bleach in it. So I'm not actually bleaching my hair by myself and then adding the brown color on top. What I'm doing is using that all over my head. Technically, it was supposed to be on just the roots, but... I've dyed my hair before and um, I was going to use the toner which is the color brilliant semi-permanent hair color but since I had all of this I just spread it all around after I did my roots and outlines very well so we'll see how that goes. I will keep you guys posted. This is the part where you look like a naked mole rat. Okay. So I just wanted to show you that my room is basically clean now and I feel good. Laundry's done. All my clothes are put away. I still want to read like I want to go through each section and like do a deep clean like put all my summer clothes away get all my sweaters up etc as you just saw I fucked up the floor but I'm gonna figure out how to clean it and I did my bed it's done I still have to do my receipt box go through that which I'm gonna do next I'm also gonna put all my monopoly stickers on my monopoly card not like I'm gonna win but just for fun I took my vitamin so I can put that away. Okay. This is my little Christmas tree that I'm going to wait until November 1st to decorate. But I'm going to decorate it. Towel for right now when I go shower. My camera bag. My computer. Desk is pretty clean. Curtain rod is back. And that's it. This is my room. It's clean again. And my soul feels happy. I keep my scale underneath my dresser because I do it in my room. But yay. My hair is done. Honestly, I actually am pretty impressed. Um, I washed it out first, just washed it out as much as I possibly could. And then I used um, shampoo, like a tiny bit, and lathered my hair, left it for a little bit. And then what I did um, after that was I used conditioner, the Aussie Three Minute Miracle Conditioner. Again, a recommendation from Liba. What else did I do? Yeah, I'm pretty impressed with it. Like, it's brown. I just want it to be, like, not black. And in the sun, once I dye it, it will be fine. I mean, once I dry it. I'm going to dry it and show you guys the final look along with what I'm going to wear for Thanksgiving today. But, um, wow. I am so happy. I put the 3-Minute Miracle Aussie Conditioner in. And in the meantime, while I did that, I just did body wash. And then I rinsed it out. And, like, by the 
by the fourth rinse, I guess, most of the color was gone. Like I kept on emptying out my tub and making sure that the water is gone. But I would say at least one more wash before it will like run clear, you know. But this is pretty good. All my grays are covered. I just got my mom to check. Um, the roots, pretty good. Like for what I wanted done, I'm, I feel like it's been, it's been achieved. You can kind of see like a hint of brown. So, yay, there you have it. How to do your hair at home. Why did I say that like that? At home. Okay, so I'm obviously boosting because I would never actually wear this for Thanksgiving, like at home. But to be dramatic and show you my hair, see, it's like kind of brown in the light. I'm with the like a full look. This is what I'm wearing, which is like thigh high boots, um, corduroy overall dress. I'm like laughing because I'm dying of breath right now, like out of breath from fucking putting on these clothes. Anyways, a sweater that's like crop top. I think this is from H&M. These are from spring. Um, damn, I almost gave you guys a free show, but the overall dress is really nice, but like you bend the wrong way and you're going to give the world a free show. Realistically, I'm going to show you guys what I'm actually going to wear, but since I put this on, I'll go downstairs and go get Sindhu. Um, but yeah, this is my boosting look, so you guys can see the hair, which can you kind of see? I feel like you can kind of see. It depends on the light, honestly, but I like it. I like it for what it is, you know? Okay, <laughs> this is what I'm actually going to wear, which is my hair tied back because I'm going to be cooking. An apron from the dollar store and my classic Nike. But yeah. There you go. Where, where are you standing? Oh my god. It's like a crime scene. Who did you kill? My hair. Oh my god. After I figured out how to uh Oh, this is your magnetic board. Yes. Okay, sick. You know, yeah, your room does look a lot more spacious now. Right? Like you can do jumping jacks, push-ups. Okay, the cutest little Christmas tree. This is this is gorgeous. I'm yeah. gonna put mine up soon. How did you not put it up, bro? Where do I'm I just have waiting for November first? I have there. extra decorations. You know where I have decorations. You want? Yeah, I do. Remember for my Christmas party? Yeah. For my birthday party and yeah, yeah, like yeah. all these like Christmas games sick. for the kids. Sick. I have a whole bunch sick. underneath my bed. I'll give it to you. Okay, so what yeah, is this called? Sick. Are okay, we we're gonna Thanksgiving 2019. Yeah, so we're gonna make our meal, so adios. We'll check back in later. Thanks. Who's here? And she drew a wonderful, wonderful drawing of what we're gonna have. So cute. That's why Sindhu and I get along so well. Look at that. She has lists. We have a C and an S. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Step one of making mashed potatoes is you're gonna take a whole head of garlic or a bulb of garlic and you're going to cut it horizontally so it was originally like this i used a knife and cut through it horizontally and then i added olive oil just any type of olive oil it doesn't have to be olive oil whatever you want and then i put it on top i'm gonna close this and make it into a little pouch and put it in the oven at 350 for like two hours until i can squeeze this and each individual piece of garlic will come out and it's like so delicious your house smells bomb so that's step one and then ajay and i are going to have a prison factory where we're basically peeling all of the potatoes so brb while we start peeling. okay so i'm using red potatoes i have a 10 pound bag and i set up a station so basically i'm going to put the peeled potatoes in there and eventually once they're washed i'm going to cook them in here and i'm going to add a few pieces of garlic into the water and just um basically flavor every single level of the dish and i have my friend over here helping me so there's two peelers to speed up the prison potato factory okay and coronas to make the life fun backup coronas to get ready because i over froze them whoops see you on the next clip <laughs> I keep on telling my cousin that we're in the prison jail factory where we have to peel potatoes. This is where we're at. <laughs> this is how much more we have left to go. But we put wax paper, which is the paper that we don't use in this house, on the ground or on the table so that we can just peel it on there and then just throw it out directly. And my cousin didn't realize what he signed up for. Oh well, you gonna learn today. Okay, so we just finished peeling with the potatoes. Vijay has something to say about the red bits, but we left it for texture, right, Ajay? Yeah. Killed it. Ajay and I, we did a peeling factory, did it in like 10 minutes, bro. Oh. Vijay's gonna cut them now into the equal size pieces, and then eventually we're gonna get it ready in water and add some pieces of garlic, make the water as salty as the sea, and execute. 
Okay guys, so I'm making um, this cake only because we have so much extra cake and I'm like, you know what, I'm not tracking so might as well live my best life for today. And I'm just following the instructions which is basically you need half a cup of vegetable oil, you need three eggs, so I showed you a little egg, and you're supposed to use one cup of milk or one cup of water but I don't have milk unfortunately so I'm going to add all these in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Okay, so I just used this hand mixer. I think I got it for like 10 bucks when I was in the States um, from like an as seen on TV show. This is the mix, just literally a few minutes. See the consistency? It's so easy with the KitchenAid mix or the stand mixer. One day I will get the KitchenAid mixer when we have space, but for now, that's the sprinkle birthday cake mix. Okay, <clears throat> so since the stuff is like starting to really cook now. We put the potatoes in, waiting for it to boil. I did add pieces of garlic. Um, what else is going on? We have the apple pie filling. We have the glaze for the ham. We have chorizo cooking for the stuffing. Roasted red peppers. We have carrots and the ham. The food going down. I also have my brother and my cousin on the side just listening to me record. This is the mashed potatoes. Um, it took forever for the potatoes because I used the whole bag to get soft enough. It should be soft enough that, let me use this, but I should be able to poke this through easily. See how I did it easily? Yeah, that's good. Um, I'm probably going to skip the rest of the steps on how you make it. I'm going to show you what's done, but either way, you're going to basically add butter. You're going to add whipping cream, salt, pepper, milk, a lot of pepper, like lots, lots of pepper. And I'm going to show you the end result. Okay, this is what we have so far. Sindhu's list. But we have some napkins, some honey glazed carrots, oh my god. Peppers. The ham. Are you guys ready? Oh my god, it's ham. O-M-G. Okay, the ham. Mushrooms. It looks like really dark and like not like mushrooms, but it is mushrooms. We just cooked it on the stove top. Gravy with some cornstarch. Um, butternut squash. And there's more. VJ added a secret amount of <laughs> whipping cream and butter, pepper because he loves it. But fam, yo, this is like fire, like crap. Okay. So here was our list, glazed ham, mashed potatoes, roasted peppers, butternut squash, garlic thyme, butter potatoes, butter mushroom saute, stuffing, turkey gravy, honey, roasted carrots, apple pie, and ice cream, along with Cinder's beautiful drawing. So we have some Thanksgiving napkins. We have the stuffed potatoes. Ajay made those. We have actual stuffing. Oh my God, that looks like crack. We have glaze. Pineapple glaze for the ham. This is just regular gravy. We also have mushrooms. Bro, these ma mashed potatoes. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Okay, then we have some roasted peppers, butternut squash, glazed carrots. And we also have cupcakes. There's another set in the oven right now, and I'm gonna ice them later. And then Last, but most definitely not least, is the ham. Like, bro. That's fire. Okay, so this was the final meal. That stuffed stuffing. <laughs> stuffed stuffing. Mushroom. Mashed potatoes with some gravy. Some potatoes. Ham with gravy on top. Glazed carrots. Roasted peppers. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. And we also have apple pie and we also have, um... Okay, bye.